California Dreaming came about, basically, me and my DJ, uh, DJ Fu, um, was at a couple shows, and you know, like other show DJs would be like spinning certain records throughout their set. So, this one DJ, I had a show with Schoolboy Q, and um, the DJ spent that Today Was a Good Day record. And DJ Fu was like, man, you need to rip this, man, for Cali, man, freestyle. I was like, yeah, that shit would be tight. So then we went to another show, like the next week, I had with uh, Sir Michael Rocks. And uh, I think the DJ spent like regulators or something. He's like, yeah, you need to rip this too. So I was like, man, fuck you. We might as well just do a whole tape like that. So we got in the studio like the next week, went through all the records, like going through hella Cali records. Narrowed it down to like seven records. Um, took the tracks home, went home that night, wrote the whole tape that night. Stayed up to like four in the morning, wrote all seven songs. Very next week, me and Fu got back in. And then he was in the studio until like six in the morning and just recorded the whole tape like in one night. Picked out all the skits that we wanted for the tape and you know, just came together like that. Then we ended up linking with I'm King and you know, the rest is history. Now you got California Dreaming Volume 1 with a possible Volume 2 on the way. I got women on my mattress, and I'm in the yoke. I'll be working on the classic. Shinkies let me scout. Treat these women like a basket. Niggas hang a loud treat. I had it to a casket.